guys and welcome to another grocery haul. I almost wasn't going to do this video today just because it's been one of those days and things are just crazy around here. But I did do a really big shop and I just wanted to quickly show you guys what I bought. So as you probably know our budget, our fortnightly budget is around $400. So we've been trying to cut that down though and just spend a bit less. So I managed to spend $285 on our fortnightly shop. So usually I do a top up shop like the following week after I do a bulk shop. But this time I am not going to do that at all. So I've done our two week shop today and next week I am just not going to go shopping at all. So, so we'll see how that goes but I'm pretty sure I bought enough today to last us two weeks. But if we run out of anything then we're just going to have to make do with what we've got in the house and Hopefully we won't need to go to the shop. So that's my plan anyway. So I was even hoping to spend a bit less today. Like I was trying to get under the 250 mark, but um, I did buy quite a lot. So it went a little bit over. So anyway, I'm just going to get stuck into it and I'll show you guys what I bought. Here is everything that I bought today. Um, I did shop at Pack and Save. So I got a whole lot of groceries. I guess I did pretty good for spending $285 because I did buy a lot. So I ended up buying some chicken thighs this week. So that was $6.50 for about five cutlets. And then this one here was $5.70 for three. So I'm gonna do like a chicken curry with those. And then I just bought some bacon bones and that was $6.20. And it really grosses me out how there's like a huge pig's tail in there, but that's just what you get with it. So I'll use that to make like a Mary pork soup which is like a they call it a boil up so that will last us a good few meals for that and then I bought these hot dog frankfurters which have got some cheese in it I mean they were six dollars for a packet of 17 so I thought that was a good buy and then um I was gonna buy sausages but they were about twelve dollars for roughly the same amount so or probably a bit less actually and yeah so I thought these would be cheaper and the kids will really enjoy having hot dogs because we don't usually have them. So for dairy, I bought some more of this Country Soft. Um, I was going to get butter, but it was like almost $6 was the cheapest that you could buy. So I just didn't want to spend that this week on butter. So I just bought that. And then I bought this um, cheese for just under $8, I think. And then this yogurt, that was a really good price. I think it was $2.50 for a puddle, so that was good. I did buy a few treats this week. Um, <laughs> I wasn't planning on um, buying as much, but they were really cheap. So these were like a dollar 20 each. So I bought two of those and that was a dollar 80 for those biscuits. And it's just always handy to have those. Our kids go through baking and stuff so fast that I just can't keep up with them. So it's always good to have some extra biscuits on hand. And I wasn't going to buy as many muesli bars this week, but they were on a really good sale. They were $2 a box, and these were $2 a box as well, so I bought some of those. And then I bought these snack clogs. They weren't on a great special, but I just love these snack clogs. And we had a packet um, last week, and there was like one bar left, and I was saving it for myself. And then one day I left Evie in the car. Um... She was just like playing in the car after we'd got home and she managed to find it and she got into it and ate the whole thing. So I was gutted. <laughs> so I thought I had to buy some more of those. So and then I bought some tea. I bought me chai tea. I like to mix this with red bush tea. Um, it just gives it a bit of a bolder kind of flavor. But this is a really nice spicy kind of chai mix. And it almost, um, it almost tastes like it's got a bit of apple in it as well to me. But... I'm not sure if it does or not, but I like to have that in the mornings for tea. And then I bought this Dilma normal tea. And then I got a big um, jar of peanut butter. That was $5.50, which is a good price. And I bought two packets of little walnuts for baking. I think they were like just under $2 each. And then some dates, they were $2 as well. And I did buy some marshmallows this week. So these are for hot chocolates for the kids because it's the middle of winter and that's kind of like their treat that they have at winter after school and um, they just love having marshmallows in it. So in the summertime we do like icy poles and smoothies and stuff, but in the winter it's hot chocolates. So I bought those and then I bought a big pack of these marshmallows 
because it's um it's a special weekend this weekend it's Matariki in New Zealand and that kind of like signifies the middle of winter and the shortest day and the stars are in a certain alignment so it's a really cool celebration they do here but we're gonna have a big bonfire and some fireworks for it so I bought those for the fire to roast I just bought some blocks of chocolate so I bought this one for baking because it's a bit cheaper so that was two fifty, and then these ones were two dollars uh three dollars each for the old gold and I'll just show you what tins I bought so I got some tomato sauce and some sweet corn and I bought a couple of tins of diced tomatoes, that one's plain, and then I got a basil and oregano, and then a garlic and oregano. I bought two tins of black beans, some cannellini beans, and then two tins of coconut cream. I bought this small tin of tuna, um, I usually buy the bigger one, but I can't believe the price that tuna is now, like it's... It was like $5.20 to buy the bigger tin. They used to cost like $3, so... This was $2.50 for this one, but yeah, those bigger ones have just skyrocketed in price. So, so I just got the little one and I got a jar of pickles for $2. This week I got some kind of different stuff that I don't usually buy. So I bought some mandarins because um, we did have mandarins growing on our tree, but they've all gone now. So I bought some of these easy peel ones and they're nice and big too. And then I just bought one head of broccoli. That was like just under two dollars and that was like the biggest one i could find there uh this time i bought some green apples at phoenix's request so um yeah hopefully all the kids enjoy those and then i got lots of bananas because they were a dollar 80 a kg so i got a good few bunches of those and then i bought this packet of mushrooms for four dollars fifty for 500 grams so that was cheaper than the loose ones that you buy so I got those and then I bought some Bosch pears and they were $1.80 a kg as well. So I thought I'd get a few pears this time and then a bag of carrots. And then I bought this bag of onions for $2.50 as well. So that was quite a good price for those. And then for cereal, I bought some ricees because we ran out of those and we don't, we don't always buy rice bubbles. So got those this week and oh, I got this ginger. Um, I have loved having lemon and ginger tea. Um, it's just so good in the winter and when you get a sore throat and stuff, it's just really good. And then I've been adding it to water kefir that I've been fermenting as well. So that's really handy to have that. I love fresh ginger. It's also really good for adding to stir fries and curries and things as well. So I just love ginger in the winter time. I bought this golden syrup. I got these butter popcorn and sweet and salty popcorn for just because it's school holidays coming up soon and I thought I'd get those as a treat. I just bought some sunflower seeds and some bulk almonds. I'm not sure how much they came to in the end but they were $3.20 for 100 grams so it was probably you know around about $9, $8 or $9 for those which is a bit of a rip. And then I bought some cranberries. Uh, I bought some pumpkin seeds as well. <clears throat> and what have I missed? I'll just go back over here. So I bought some corn thins. And Hazel has loved having these in her lunchbox instead of having a sandwich. And then I bought two boxes of Jets crackers for $2. I got two things of soy milk. They were $2.80 each. And then I bought some more rice bran oil. And some milk powder for eight dollars. I got some Vitabrits for five dollars. I like those more than wheat bix because they've just got a bit of a nicer texture to them, I think, and like they don't go as soggy, and they also don't have as much sugar in them, so I like those ones. And then I just got a bag of cat food and some corn chips for. Oh, I, can't, I didn't. I don't think I even saw the price on those, but. Some lightly salted corn chips and then I got two big packets of rolled oats. They were just under four dollars actually a packet so, um, for 1.5 kg so that was an okay price. And then I got some sushi rice because I've had, well this is like short grain rice which is pretty much the same as sushi rice. But yeah I've had like some nori wraps in the cupboard for ages and I've been meaning to make sushi for so long but I haven't got around to it so... I just thought I'd better have some of this on hand 
in case I decide to um, be inclined to make sushi. And then I got these seaweed rice crackers because the kids like those and they're nice and cheap. I got heaps of bread this week so I got these chia batter buns for under four dollars eight and then I got these because Phoenix was eyeing them up and he was like oh can we buy those please mommy and so I only bought them because they were marked down to two dollars nine cents so he's a lucky boy um so I got those and then I got two packs of hot dog rolls to have with our hot dogs and so they were two for five dollars. And then I just bought four loaves of this value bread. Um, I was gutted because they didn't have the giant bread, which is what we usually buy, and because they have multi grains in it. But these ones are just wheat meal, and they don't have any whole grains, so that's a bit annoying. But they were a dollar each, so uh, I had to buy those instead this week. So I got four loaves of bread, and whew, 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 nearly done. I uh, bought some more eggs and then I got some toothpaste for the kids. I think that was $2, which is a good price for this Minion toothpaste. And it's like, what is it? Age 6 plus. Yeah, I don't really go by the ages on the box. I usually go by like the fluoride levels, it says in the ingredients. So this one's quite low. I think this is only 1,000... Um, whatever it is but yeah this is quite low fluoride and so I tend to just give the younger kids like a tiny tiny amount of toothpaste on their brush and then the older kids a little bit more just so that they're getting enough fluoride and not too much because I know Evie doesn't spit out her toothpaste yet so I don't want her swallowing too much of it yeah so I only give her like the tiniest amount on her brush and I just got these two light bulbs they were 80 cents each and I bought some vitamins this week because we run out of vitamin C. So I just got this one for 500 milligrams and I think that was $8. This was $8 as well, I think. And they didn't have my usual B6 and magnesium and zinc complex. So I bought this one instead. I just got some more washing powder for $3. And then I got some nappy pants for Blake because they're having a school sleepover and I'm quite worried because he still wets the bed most nights if I don't take him to the toilet. So I don't think anyone's going to be getting up in the night to take him to the toilet while he's there. So I'm going to get him to wear some of those while he's on his sleepover. And then I bought these ones for Evie. And I don't particularly love that brand of nappies because they just don't seem to hold as much as the other the home brand that I buy from Countdown. But yeah, I couldn't really be bothered going to Countdown to get those. So I just got those instead. And then I got this huge packet of toilet paper. So that is like a 12 pack of mega long roll, if you can see it. And that was $9.90. For that so hopefully that'll last us two weeks but judging by the rate we use toilet paper it probably won't but yeah it should last us the majority of the time anyway so so that is it for our groceries this week and give me a thumbs up if you like this video and let me know if you think I did well on my groceries that I bought for that price um, for $285 today and fingers crossed I can last the whole two weeks but I've kind of promised myself that I'm not going to go shopping next week, so we'll just see how that pans out. <laughs> and um, my question for you guys this week is, what do you guys enjoy about watching grocery haul videos? It doesn't have to be particularly my videos, but anyone's videos, do you enjoy, like, do you just enjoy seeing what other people buy, maybe from different countries, or do you like seeing how much they spend each week, or, yeah, I don't know, just let me know in the comments what you enjoy about watching grocery hauls. So... Yeah, thanks heaps for watching guys and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.